Has Mitch been this much of a dick the whole time? And I've just not seen it. Day 8 and 9 in the villa. And I must admit, last night's episode was pretty boring. Not that much happened. We had a new bombshell, Tyler, from season 7. Obviously. Are they just going to have everybody for season 7 in this? So he entered the villa and I had no clue who he was. But obviously by Kazzy's face I could tell straight away that it was her ex. And she didn't seem too pleased to see him whatsoever. So when he was asked to steal one of the girls, he stood up and gave the stupidest reason ever. He's like, oh no, she's surrounded by other beautiful girls, but this is the girl I want to pick. For what reason? I wouldn't have allowed that. The last who presents it should have been like, do you want to elaborate? Like when they're on Big Brother and they're choosing to nominate people, they have to give good reasons. So he ended up picking Kaz and she didn't look happy, but I wouldn't have been happy either because he literally gave no reason whatsoever. Arabella also had to steal a boy and she chose Chris. I kind of knew that she was going to choose Chris and I'm glad she did, but Mitch looked a bit raging. So the villa's starting to get a little bit crowded now and I thought, right, they're obviously going to chuck Demi and Lewis out. And I must say, I really liked Demi. I thought that she was a really genuine, nice person, but I absolutely hated Lewis. But then when they went out together and I thought they two kind of coupled up the new anyway, so it's actually worked out for the best. So on tonight's episode, which was episode 8, Toby was in a huff with Callum because he told Georgia S that he said that he could have went with her outside the house. Even though I kind of felt like it was more, oh, if we were going to get together, we would have got together outside, rather than if I wanted it, I could have had her. And Anton was on Callum's side, right, but I kind of seen where Toby was coming for. However, that boy can hardly string a sentence together. He uses these words, right, and it's as if he doesn't know what the word is, so he just makes it up as he goes along. I can't stand him. Hannah and Tyler were chatting, and she was saying to him that she's not very flirty, and she hadn't really fancied anybody in the house up until now. And I really hope, actually, that they two get together, because I genuinely think that she seems like such a nice person. To be honest, I'm not too sure about him, but he's just in the house. I'll give him a chance. Surprise, surprise, Molly's in a huff again and she was talking to Callum and she was actually crying to Callum and she's like, oh, I knew that I couldn't let my guard down because I wanted to see what you would do if somebody took you for chats. If you would just drop me, you've led me down the garden path. No, 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 no. I disagree. He was the one who was saying to her, do you find me attractive? Do you think we could get back together? Do you think there's still something there? She was laughing in his face. She was making him look like a dick and then when he was actually trying to talk to her about it, she was like, oh, I've already told you this, right? And then he's the one getting the blame. She also told Georgia S that she was okay if she wanted to try and go with him and see if they had any chemistry. And then when Georgia was like, oh, you're right, babe, she's like, no, I'm shit. Like, making Georgia feel bad. Then she had an absolute cheek. To, I can't remember who she was talking to. I think it was Arabella. And she's like, oh, I really hope that a mature man comes in and sweeps me off my feet. And I thought, what the fuck's a mature man going to do with her? She's a fucking greeting face wee fucking bitch. Liberty had been chatting to the girls and she was saying that she was really upset that Mitch told her that she was his number one. And then she also told Demi. Now, she's obviously going to be upset about that because Mitch is just up to his old tricks again. And I really liked Mitch last time. And up until now, I kind of still liked him. But... He's beginning to have a bit of an attitude problem and I don't know if he's literally always been this bad and I've just been blind to it or if he's just been cocky because he's been asked to go on for another season. I don't really know but Liberty was saying oh I'm going to chat to him and if he's going to be open and he's going to be chatting to other girls I'm not putting up with it and I'm not going to be kissing him in bed. I'm not going to be kissing him. So then she literally spoke to him for like three minutes and he was saying oh I'm really sorry or will you still be kissing me in bed and um, can I get a kiss? And then she kissed him and she just caved like that. Literally reminded me of myself when I was like 22. So they were playing games and I must admit I do enjoy when they play games because everybody gets wound up and it gives us a little bit of drama. But for some reason I felt like everybody was putting cars all of a sudden. I feel like nobody's gave her a second look and now all of a sudden everybody's choosing her to like kiss and do all these games with. Not that she's not good looking, it's just like all of a sudden this is happening. When Mitch was asked who he thought was the most loyal and who he thought was the most disloyal, he chose Arabella. And obviously she didn't take that very well, right? And she went off her nut a wee bit. But 
Mitch just had such a bad attitude about it. And I thought to myself, if he should be choosing anybody as the least loyal, it should be him. He's the one going round once again and mixing everybody up and telling them that he likes them when he doesn't. And then when Arabella said, oh, you were paired up with Liberty and you were taking me for chats. And then he was like, I took you for four chats, babe, babe, babe. Like, don't call me babe, right? It's totally patronising. I'd have been like, who the fuck are you calling babe? Stop acting like a fucking infant. Arabella 100% made the right choice when she chose Chris because ugh, Mitch is just such a child this season. Like, is that what you thought of him last season as well? People that I worked with really couldn't stand him and I kept sticking up for him and I was like, he doesn't really know what he's doing or whatever, but like, I really think he's doing it deliberately this time. So in the next episode, we've got two new bombshells, Sophie from season six, who I don't really remember, and Tom from season nine. And I remember specifically, he was a footballer and he had like really blue eyes and everybody kept talking about how lovely his eyes were. But see in that season, see if you had been playing a drinking game and you took a drink for every time somebody said eye contact, you would have been wrecked by the end of it. Like you couldn't have even have finished it. It was constantly, oh, you've got great eye contact. You've got good, good eye contact. Oh, I've got good eye contact. I was like, all right, we get it. You like eye contact? Okay. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of people will be glad to see him in because a lot of people fancied him as far as I remember. Not too sure about his personality right enough. I don't fancy any of them. But so many people really liked him because he was really tall and because he had, I must admit, he did have nice eyes. But let me know what you think of the two bombshells that are coming in.